Okay, I'm here with the um, cowl. That's my hole for the, uh, the for the filling tube to fill up the airplane. Um, I'm going to show you how I like to mount this cowl. The holes are already drilled, but sometimes there's fiberglass in it, so you got to take a, like a one sixteenth uh, drill bit and drill them out so they're they're clear. Okay, and what you're going to do is mount mount the cowl. And make sure it's you know it's right where you want it so what I do then is I hold it here okay take a fine point sharpie and uh, see if I can zoom in on this a little bit okay so um, the top of the pen out of my mouth I might be able to talk okay here we go all right so I'm trying to find the location of where the hole needs to be at the edge of the firewall here so I'm just gonna come across here and make a mark and then find where this hole is come across here and make a mark okay so that's where the two holes are gonna be on the firewall then I take and I measure from that point over about four millimeters and I'm and then I make that dot there and then measure this one over um, the, well, I guess you can't see the bottom can you <laughs> all right let's go down to the bottom okay so now I I take the edge measure over four millimeters and make that dot so, um, then, um, then you clean off the first dot, so it doesn't, um, now what you, how you have to do that is, uh, take a rag, squirt it with a little alcohol, so I got a little rag with a little alcohol here, and just wipe off that first dot. Okay, it's gone, and let me zoom back out. Okay, zoom back in. So now I'm just just with a little bit of alcohol and a rag, I just wipe out that first dot, so you don't so you don't think you got the wrong dot. Okay, so now. Um, when you go to line these holes up, um, let me zoom in a little closer. Okay, so now um, you can see white, you can see black. Okay, so see white, see black, that's where you want to be. Okay, and then you do the same thing on the bottom one. I'm going to zoom back out. Okay, and um, now that you've now that you've got both of those, let's see here. Yep, that one's good, and that one's good. Okay, so that's where you want to drill the holes. So now that you got where you want to drill the holes, both of those dots are good, and then you do the same thing on the other side. Then you can take this off. Okay, get your drill bit and drill that hole. So let me stop there. Okay, one of the containers that you should have left should have what you should need. Okay, these are the two um, nylon bolts to screw on the wing. These are the two uh, one inch flat washers that will fit through there. And I bought those at Ace Hardware, so just some one inch flat washers. And uh, these are the two bolts for the uh, muffler. And then you should have a couple of these. Actually, you should have four of those. Okay, so they're a nice tiny little um, hex head bolt, hex head screw, I guess it is. So now I'm going to 
Turn it on and see what kind of pilot hole I should uh, drill here. All right, so I'm gonna measure this in millimeters, just because. Well, no, I think I'll measure it in inches, fractions of inches, because that's the drill that I'm gonna use. So this screw is seven. There it is, seven sixty-fours. That screw is seven sixty-four diameter. So I like to at least cut that in half. So let's say six sixty-fours, uh, three sixty-fours. Three sixty-fours is close enough to be in a four sixty-fours would be a sixteenth. So you want a six a one sixteenth. Um, drill bit and a 1 16th drill bit is equal to da -da -da -da, um, one and a half millimeters so um, I've got a 1 16th drill bit and I'm gonna go get it okay so I've got my uh, 1 16th all right, there you are. One sixteenth drill bit, and I got my two holes, one there, one there, and I'm just going to go ahead and pilot drill a hole in. Um, just trying to make it. Um, okay, so you know this thing is not more than a quarter inch long, so I'm just trying to get it a hole started right where I want it. Okay, and down here, okay, so it just barely started. I'll do the other side and that, that taps the four holes you need. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is get the all the uh, hoses to the right length and uh, um, get them put on the, the way they should be. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, here I am on the left side of the airplane and that's where the um, uh, needle valve is. Right behind the needle valve is the um, uh, nipple for feeding fuel into the carburetor. Okay, so um, um, you don't want it too long, you don't want it too short, you want to be able to push it on and off and uh, so um, let me see how well you can see that. Okay, you can see the nipple there. So I'm just going to have a bit of a uh, little extra there. And I'm going to say right about there I should cut it off. So I'm going to take my Sharpie marker and make a mark. I'm going to make it slightly shorter. Rational mark. Um, you can see that mark is a little the inward mark. Um, now there's several ways to cut this. A razor blade. Let me show you how well these cut. This is just a pair of um, channel, uh, yeah, channel channel lock cutters. So I'm gonna do a test cut here. Okay, cuts a very nice smooth cut, and uh, so. Um, try this again. 
I don't want it hitting the side of the cowl, um, but then uh, I don't want to have so much that I can't put it on and off easily. So I'm, I'm happy with that mark. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Okay. Now, we're just going to slide that on. And that's on good and tight. And that one's going to stay there because um, uh, we got the we got the green fuel line and uh, if you didn't have the third line you'd have to fill it with that one um, uh, but since we got the green fuel line that's never uh, needs to take off take off unless you're gonna take the engine off uh, so that's it for that one let me go on to the next one I'm gonna stop here for a second okay before I can cut the green line I really need to install uh, this and I dropped it on the floor uh, I need to install the, the uh, button that goes here uh, because that green line is going to come through there. So um, let me get my epoxy ready. I've got some six minute epoxy. That's what I'll use because uh, it's just going to sit there for uh, a while and uh, then I can come back and uh, have the green line come through and determine how much I need to pull out and uh, um, that will be ready. So. I'll get me a, my epoxy and be back in a minute. Okay, hey, I'm back. Um, uh, got my cowl, got my little black uh, um, button to um, let the fuel uh, filling tube go out. That's going to go in there. Got uh, two 60-minute uh, epoxies. One red, one blue. Got a bunch of wooden sticks. They're the match uh, size sticks. And uh, let's see if I can move a little closer here. There we go. Got my roll of paper towels. Got my little uh, cup holder. Got two of these cups. One for the epoxy, one for the uh, alcohol if I need it. And uh, so I think I'm ready. So let's uh, make sure, yeah, we're recording. All right, so I'm going to take the top off the blue one, take the top off the red one. Red one's in the left hand, blue one's in the right hand. And uh, we're going to not need a whole lot of epoxy here. I'll do it this way so you can see what I'm doing. So I let it, let it slowly drift to the bottom. And we're just going to do a little itty bitty dab here. Okay. And put the red cap on. Get the blue cap on. And if you want to see in the bottom there, you got two dabs of epoxy in there. Not very big. Okay, take a wooden stick and just stir it up. Okay. Now I like six minute epoxy when I've got something very simple to do. And this is very simple. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is put a little, get just enough on the, not very much on the stick. And I'm going to run a little bit of epoxy just touch it on the sides reason I do it that way is uh, the epoxy is going to ooze through the um, side of the cowl and it will smush enough into the top, okay, that some comes out, okay, then I'm going to grab a bit more of epoxy to um, smush a little inside. Doesn't have to be all the way around inside, just has to be enough to make sure it doesn't come out. So I'm just uh, applying a little epoxy right there. 
and uh, grab a little bit more. That use it all up. Okay, that's good. So now, what I like to do is the remaining epoxy, let that stick sit there just like that, and that will tell me whether or not the epoxy has cured at six minutes. Now, there's a little bit of epoxy on the outside here, and I'm going to grab some um, bit of alcohol here and. Uh, Wipe that up. I could use the um, cotton swabs, but this will work too. Okay. Get another clean paper towel. Just a little dibbity dab of alcohol on it. And that's just to clean the edge of the hole and to make sure that the top is nice and clean and nothing inside. You want to make sure there's no epoxy there in the middle. And uh, um, now I'm going to let that epoxy sit that epoxy sit this way so that epoxy will drift down to the bottom and uh, so while it's drying and curing I don't want that epoxy if that was upside down the epoxy would run to the hole I don't want that um, the, this, this little button is going to stay right where it is no more is going to ooze out and uh, in fact there's a little on the edge there I'm going to clean that edge off a little here we go a little bit more paper towel. Got a little edge in there. I want to just easily wipe off. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Epoxy's going to adhere well to the fiberglass. And we're going to just let that sit. Be back in probably more than six minutes. <laughs> um, the epoxy has set well enough. It's been more than six minutes. And uh, I'm not going to wait the 24 hours for the six minute epoxy. But uh, so we'll uh, go ahead and get this thing mounted. Now, what I want to do is get the tubes all in the right place so the green tube is going to come out the uh, that little hole the orange tube is on top to go to the muffler after we put the muffler in and we're going to find where the holes are and screw them in I'm going to start all four before I uh, tighten them down little flashlight make sure I'm seeing what I'm supposed to see here yep all right so uh, gonna start this one okay and we're gonna start this one Okay. And the reason I'm not putting any CA in these holes is they're not, first off, they're not through holes. There's just a small, not very deep pilot. And I don't expect to take this on and off very much. So it's not going to get a lot of wear and tear. Um, so I'm not going to show you the other side. I figure you can put the two in on the other side. I'm going to stop here for a minute, put the two on the other side and be right back. Okay. Um, all right. So one of the final things that will be done is the needle valve, uh, the engine came with this extension kit. 
So it's a it's a wire, flexible wire. It's a bit of a flexible wire and this uh, little doodad there that holds it on. And what you're supposed to do is put that in the end of the needle valve uh, so you can adjust the needle easily. But it's flexible, I don't like it. Um, so I use one of these. It's a uh, one and a half millimeter um, standard little L um, uh, Allen wrench. And I buy them uh, off of off of uh, Amazon, I think it was, and uh, that's what the package looks like. It's uh, made in the USA. It's got five of them in there. Uh, one and a half millimeter uh, tool, and they're dirt cheap. So if you lose one, I don't. You know, I got others. Um, so uh, let me uh, zoom in here a little bit. Too far. There we go. Uh, yep, that looks good. Okay, so um, all I'm going to do is <clears throat> stick it in and I'm going to set it at a certain position. I'm going to set it at 6 o'clock. Okay, or as close to 6 o'clock as I can get. I've already backed this out a little bit. So I'm going to stick. Um, there's a set screw there. Um, it's a standard size set screw, so if you lose it, you can get others. And that, that, the purpose in uh, using that is that uh, um, <clears throat> you can immediately see if it's moved. I, I make a note and write down somewhere that this is at the 6 o'clock position. And after we fine-tune the engine and we know what the... Uh, needle valve setting should be is probably factory set and may not need to be changed. We'll find out when we start the engine and fly it a while. So um, um, that's in. It's reasonably tight. Try tightening it one more time there. Okay. And uh, we'll go with that. Well, after five minutes of searching, I finally found my 330 seconds hex driver. The funny part was, uh, while I was frantically searching for it, I left the camera on. <laughs> so uh, that's got to get edited out. <laughs> All right. So um, uh, I'm going to mount this. And hopefully I did the right thing. And got these where it should be. My head in the way, probably. Let me stand up so you can see around me here. All right, I'm going to stop the camera a minute and uh, get in a better position to do this. All right, um, I'm ready to put the final uh, touch on here, and which is the um, muffler. So we're going to screw the muffler on. And, oops, there we go. And while I was away, I tested to make sure the muffler fit well. And I did find that um, after I had located the holes, this was not at the right, at the same angle as when I was measuring before. So I had to cut away a little bit more underneath the muffler so the muffler wouldn't touch the cowl. Um, so I think everything is ready. Um, I'm not going to tighten this down completely yet. Sort of test fitting. So the orange um, tube goes on this nipple here on the on the muffler. And uh, I'm going to put that on there for now, but uh, I'm certainly going to cut that off. Um, but I want to show you a few things w w about fueling before I cut it off. 
and the the green one here can come out quite a ways I'm not going to cut that off it is um, it will coil up inside very nicely there we go and so it's in a good spot right there and so everything's done um, <laughs> but I'm not going to screw these um, these um, uh, cowling screws in just at the moment because I want to make sure everything is right and tomorrow I'm going to show you how to balance the prop and put it on and so just to be 100% safe uh, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave these four screws not tight yet after I get the prop on in the next uh, video then I'll tighten those down but the engine looks in good shape um, everything's set on it and uh, well, I see one more thing I need to do before I... Well, another reason to take the cowl off. I'll make a note of it tomorrow. Um, the fuel tubing on the on the uh, clevis is still back. I haven't put any of the fuel, uh, fuel tubing up to the clevis. Uh, so there's another good reason. I'll make a note of that. And I'll do that tomorrow uh, when we finalize putting the prop on. And uh, I'll put that uh, fuel tubing up where it belongs. Okay, thank you.